Dodge Ram. And then you pause. And then you add in all the clips. Okay? okay. Add in all those clips of it. I got this truck when I was 16, senior year of high school. It was green when I bought it. And it was pretty much a bone stock 24 valve. And then you'll like add a couple pigs of when we worked on it. Think you can do that? I already forget. You so don't. Like I said, my What's name? up, guys? My name is Mason Young. This is my 98 Dodge Ram. That's it? That's all I got to say. That's all you got to say. All right, guys, we've been trying for like five minutes now. Um, I've seen some of your guys' comments in the last videos, Mason. It's not that he's shy or anything like that. He just he just he's don't know how to. to you can't say that. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to talk. But we're going to try it one more time. We're out here at UCC, Outlaw Diesel Revenge. Uh, 2021. 2021. <laughs> yeah, we already yeah. got to restart. All right, restart. Uh, <laughs> for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, it's got a maxed out 12 mil P pump, uh, smetting S472, and 200 horse injectors, bone stock bottom end, fire ring head, no port work or nothing. Got exotic head studs, uh, fully built transmission. It's got billet input, billet intermediate, billet output, uh, flat out diesel, race valve body. Uh, we're running it on an anteater for the controller. Uh, we got a ratchet shifter, cheapest one on Amazon. Uh, we're running AFC Live. To give us a little bit of tuning capability and nitrous. <laughs> Both sides. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's the old, uh, solid in the curve, yeah. I brought that other one. It's in there. Oh my god. Oh, that. <laughs> and, and the top of the uh, rod is in there. It broke a rod. Period. Let me see.
All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I heard on the announcements. It's kind of hard to hear, but I'm pretty sure Mason is qualified in second place. See that time slip? You said you had to hit the brakes? Yeah, I smacked the brakes at the end. And it didn't even look like you left on much boost. It was like 20 pounds. Was it? Yeah. I don't know. For, I was so far, I couldn't really tell. I was trying to get a good shot from up above. Some real bad 60s. 773. So, qualified. Broke out the first time, qualified. Somehow you got a, a second place quali qualifying spot. So, I, I don't know. I don't really get that, but whatever. I turned it down. Pretty sure that's what I heard. So. Had to let out and hit the brake, and it's turned down. This truck's Turn moving today, down. man. Turn it down quite a bit. She, she's moving today. Now, uh, like we said, guys, I think that the second gear, there was in the, the cum, what would that be? In the second gear servo, there was a O-ring that was blown on it whenever we took this apart, and we think it wasn't really applying second. So we think that's why it's going so much faster right now, because other than that, nothing's really changed. I mean, I it just it has second gear now you couldn't really tell before i mean it had second gear just whenever you're probably ripping on it it, it did it you could tell that it feels way better now i got that o-ring fixed found that when we took it apart but everything's good so uh yeah we'll just wait around and see if we can make through eliminations <laughs> Thirty-eight degrees. All right, guys. Obviously, Mason just broke out, or didn't break out, but his nitrous solenoid basically shorted out and. He wasn't able to make a pass. He ended up just running like 11 seconds. So he got knocked out first round, unfortunately. So, but this gentleman parked across uh, from us. His name is Felony West. He has a fel is it felony? Felony, yeah. Okay. And this is his Dodge. Pretty similar setup on a larger scale. But we're just kind of checking out this cage. This is actually like a Summit Racing kit that he got. And this is probably what we're going to go with for Mason's truck. Because um, this is like a $300 kit. And the only thing that we would have to do is put the outriggers to the frame to make it an 850 cert. So just to kind of give you guys kind of an idea, this is going to be probably the next stage for Mason's truck to putting a cage in. But like I said, we just have to do those outriggers, but I really like this cage. It fits really clean. This is a P-Pump 24 valve truck with a 480. And he is able to spool it on a high stall converter. So like I said, similar to Mason's truck, just on a larger scale. Well guys, we got tired. I got tired of being at the track and not having a freaking unit to ride around. And we broke the golf car, so this is our new backup. I'm buying me one of these little overpriced mini bikes. Get her loaded up. The new mini runs good. Alright guys, well we are back from UCC. It's now actually Monday and I'm about to wrap this. Did my dog stop freaking attacking me? I'm about to actually wrap this video up, edit it for you guys, put it up, and do some other stuff. We gotta get done today but um yeah so that's pretty much a wrap for the outlaw diesel revenge um i didn't put a lot of odss stuff in there i did get a clip of the power driven truck exploding which is absolutely insane those guys are just freaking animals i mean they're i mean i think it made like 2400 we got there monday or we got there friday i mean bailey got there friday mason skyler got there thursday night woke up friday did some testing with the truck it did really good um as far as you know overall performance is running good and then the first round of eliminations that little 
not I guess you wouldn't say it was really up really wasn't up to standard nitrous solenoid that we made um, it actually shorted out geez Kelso please leave me alone it actually shorted out and almost caught the truck on fire so we had to cut the solenoid wires in the staging lanes like there's six trucks in front of Mason and then he had to make his first pass in E1 and he got knocked out so it's kind of unfortunate but we learned from it and you know while we were there to have fun we weren't i mean i don't want to say we weren't trying to compete we definitely wanted to try and um, you know do as good as we can with the truck um the main objective for that truck right now is for us to just see how fast we can go with it the converter swap that we're going to do very soon we may go to the track one more time on the converter converter that's in it which is not really good for the truck um we're, we're pretty confident it's going to be like a high to mid 10 second truck and once we get to that stage and we go with 10 and everything like that, then we're going to actually do a roll cage, hopefully. So hopefully we'll be looking forward to that soon. Um, like you guys saw the one in the video that we met with uh, Felony. Um, his is, it's just a Summit Racing Kit is all it is. And that should pass an 850 cert if we TIG weld it and put outriggers on it. So then once we do that, Mason's truck, for one, we think it's going to bring the value of the truck up a little bit if it has a legitimate 850 cert cage. Like, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it certed and everything and make it legit. So is it an overkill for how truck the fat, how <laughs> truck the fast is, how fast the truck is? Yes, that truck only really needs just a hoop um, that could be just basically plates welded to the floor and a hoop um, if it goes 670. But, you know, we don't really know the future and we don't want to set ourselves up for more work. We don't want to go through doing all that work and not just go ahead and do the 850 cert. Um, so we're just going to, for the money and the work we're going to have to put into it, we're probably going to put an 850 cert cage in that thing. And then the truck will, I don't know how fast it'll be able to go to look at the rules, but we can for sure run 10s that way. And uh, Mason's going to be a lot safer in that thing. That thing is like a 10 can and it's, it's getting pretty fast. So um, we're definitely at that stage, guys, where the cage is probably going to be coming very soon. Be excited, like really excited, honestly, to do that. We've been talking about it forever. We've talked about taking it somewhere and getting it done. Um, and I think that, you know, Mason's TIG welding abilities, I know I haven't posted a lot of it, have gotten to the point where he's probably more than capable of doing that at this point. Um, he might have to do a little bit of practicing on the chromoly when we get it. But other than that, I mean, I think he's ready to go on it. And I think that with a little bit of time and maybe a solid weekend, we can get that truck with a cage in it. And then we can uh, just kind of start playing more with the setup that we have. But transmission did absolutely awesome. You guys watched. We broke the intermediate at Muncie. And it has been doing great. Um, we've got a billet intermediate now. And we're about to go to a 27 spline. So that transmission at that point should technically be, I'm, I'm not going to say indestructible. It can still break stuff. But it's going to be basically as built as you can get one. Minus the, <coughs> sorry. As built as you can get one really on paper minus the bigger output shaft. So with that being said, I know that was a lot of talking. Um, I'm going to edit this video for you guys. Be sure to check out the website if you want to support us down below. It's DirtyDiamondDiesel.com. We just have key tags and stickers on there for now. Um, but I'm actually, by the time you guys see this video, we should have exotic head studs on the website. So if you guys would like, you can purchase exotic head studs, buy them through Dirty Diamond Diesel. And you'll, you know, you're going to get the same price as anywhere else, but you'll be supporting the channel as well. So we will get a kickback off of that. So I do appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. We'll see you guys on the next one.